we had to ask ourselves, how are we going to safely contain and perform a procedure on one of the largest freshwater fish in the world? My name is Dr. James Steele. I am one of the associate veterinarians here at Smithsonian's National Zoo. Arapaima are found in the Amazon River Basin and can grow up to be 15 feet long and weigh up to 300 pounds. The vet staff and the husbandry staff knew we had a challenge when it came to how to properly restrain one of our Arapaima here at the zoo. This Arapaima was noted to have what's called salomic distension or a distended belly. We monitored that for a few months and we noticed that it was getting a little bit bigger and as such we elected to then perform a procedure on it to determine what was causing the salomic distension. Unlike other fish, Arapaima are uniquely adapted to breathe air. They gulp air from the surface and they fill their swim bladder, which has been evolved to act as a lung. And so that Arapaima was actually breathing while we were doing the procedure out of the water. They're very large fish, they are very dangerous, and they're very powerful. And so we had to come up with a plan of how to restrain the Arapaima safely. And to do that, we built the Arapaima device was built out of clear PVC pipe and had removable end caps so the fish could easily swim in and out of the tube if it wanted to. We cut specific holes in it to allow water to drain out of it but also large enough to allow us to place our ultrasound probe within the holes to examine the fish. The plan that we devised to safely restrain the Arapaima involved partitioning that particular fish to one side of the tank to allow the keepers to maneuver their pima safely within the tube and then the tube was raised up above the bridge and then the exam was performed on top of the bridge at Amazonia. We did what's called a diagnostic exam. That exam involved doing radiographs and salomic ultrasound. We found that there were two stones in this animal's stomach that is probably causing its salomic distension. The procedure was a success and the zoo's new containment tube proved to be very useful and effective. We couldn't have done the procedure without it. Our Arapaima is currently doing well and we have a second procedure planned later this month.